so I have this video of Mr. Beast testing various vehicles and I actually edit this video to have some watermarks. So there are two watermarks, one at the top and the other one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is quite simple, it is just a static watermark, but the one at the top is a bit more dynamic because it is actually moving and it is kind of looping throughout the video so sometimes it is changing position so in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can remove any watermark from a video using one ai feature in filmora so it doesn't matter whether the watermark is static or maybe moving or changing position you can use this ai feature in filmora to remove those annoying watermarks so first before you start make sure that you're running the latest version of filmora this feature is only available for Filmora 13 and above and make sure that you're running the latest version. So I'm using Filmora 14 and therefore I have access to that feature. Now let's insert a video into the timeline. I'm going to drag and drop this watermark video and I'm going to select the appropriate resolution. And this is the result. I'm going to disable audio by the way just so you don't have to listen to that audio because it's quite loud. But anyway, uh, you can see there are two watermarks in this video clip and I'm going to remove both of those watermarks. So right click on the video clip and then click AI object remover. And then here you can select the watermarks that you want to remove. So I'm going to be using the brush tool right here and you can adjust the size to make it bigger or smaller depending on the size of the element or watermark that you want to remove I think I'm going to set it to be this size and I'm going to just select the area that contains the watermark it doesn't have to be perfect because AI in Filmora will automatically select the area that is most likely that you want to remove and I'll do the same for the other one let me just select this and don't worry we can clean or refine the selection later okay there you go now if you want to make sure that it is as precise as possible you can use this eraser tool and just narrow down the area that you want to remove so let me just select this section and i'll do the same for the other watermark again it doesn't have to be perfect just to be good enough and when you're done do not click this button by the way click preview effect you don't want to click this you want to preview to make sure that it is actually satisfactory so let's click preview effect and basically it's going to be running some sort of algorithm or ai behind the scene and it will calculate the area that you want to remove it will try to figure out what is the thing that you actually want to remove from the video so this process could take quite a while depending on your video duration and also depending on the speed of your internet connection which in this case i have i think one minute video maybe even maybe even less and yeah it's taking quite a bit of time so if you're using something like five second or ten seconds video that's going to be a lot faster but it's almost done so when it's finished you can preview the video you can play the video again to see if the green area here is still encapsulating the watermark area of the video i think it's quite good although it's not perfect but uh, we can always redo this process again if the first try or the first iteration doesn't look good but anyway i think i'm quite happy with this result i'm going to click save and now you can click remove watermark click on this button and your task will be uh, a sign in Filmora and all you need to do right now is just waiting it is actually using AI in Filmora server so it is not using AI on your computer so it doesn't have your computer doesn't have to be very powerful to run this AI feature and with that being said I'm going to just skip forward when it is finished all right so after less than two minutes it is finally done and let me show you the result and why i said it's not going to be perfect although there is a way to mitigate or to make it look way better so this is the result and you can tell that there are a few things that you could notice from the result so first of all i think this result is kind of flickering and it's still obvious although i would say it's a lot better than the other watermark so this one is a lot more difficult for i to remove because there are a lot of elements behind this watermark like there is this painting not the painting it's a rod sign something like that 
and it makes AI struggle to differentiate the actual content that you want to remove, which is the watermark and the background of the video. So this thing would happen, and I'm just giving you a realistic result when using AI in Filmora to remove watermark. But fortunately, we can redo this again. We can iterate this removal once again to make sure that the result is going to be as clean as possible. So let me go back and I'm going to click on this eraser icon again. There's this icon on the video clip. You can click on it and it will open this AI object removal tool once again. So I'll do the same. I will select this area that contains the watermark that's kind of moving dynamically. Okay, now I think I'm going to make the selection a bit bigger because it's touching a few section of the video and then next is gonna be this video so I'm going to select where the watermark is the most visible and then I'm going to select that second watermark once again so hopefully we can get something that is way way better than the first iteration although it's not gonna be guaranteed so let me just use eraser and remove this section because I don't want that to be included as part of the thing that I want AI to clean up. Okay, uh, I would say this looks great. Now I'm going to click preview effect once again and just wait uh, to see if AI is able to select the watermark properly this time. So uh, I would say it's not going to be great. Uh, the first watermark, the one that has this sky background is actually a lot better compared to this, the other watermark because the background is quite simple, although it makes AI struggle to remove that area or clean that area from watermark because the object is, is moving and it's not very consistent. So yeah, that's uh, the thing that you have to consider when using Filmora to remove the watermark. It's not going to be perfect, but if you can remove it just enough to make the watermark less visible, I think in a lot of cases, uh, people could just look away and ignore the glitches from the video. So this is the result and I'm going to just click save and well I'll do it again. Let's click remove and let's see if we can get something cleaner than the first iteration. And this is the result of the second iteration. Let me play the video and let's see whether or not it's actually better than the first try. Well it's certainly a bit cleaner. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't call it clean, but it's a bit better than the first try. So right now, the biggest challenge of this AI remover, sorry, watermark remover tool using AI in Filmora is that it's not going to be great if there is a lot of things going on behind the watermark. So if you have a video that is quite dynamic, a lot of things going on, then, well, unfortunately, the watermark is not going to be able to be cleaned properly. But if you're okay with the compromise like this, and if you have a video that has a simple background, like for example, the top section of this video, then I would say this AI tool works just fine on Filmora. So either way, I hope this gives you some inspiration or some insights about this AI tool in Filmora. If you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel because I'm planning to make more videos about AI and stuff like that in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.